So let's now start to work knee plan pro panel. The first thing I would like to show you is how to switch between workspaces because ePlan Electric P8 by itself is already a massive software program with a lot of functions and then you also start to work in the Pro Panel and all that in one workspace with a lot of functions. So let's see. The first thing we should do is to see about the default workspaces over here. Since I'm currently working the Pro Panel, it doesn't really matter. You can also open Electric P8. If you have a Pro Panel add-on, it looks pretty much the same with emphasis maybe a little bit more on P8. When you're working in the Pro Panel, then a little bit, then the whole workspace is a little bit more oriented towards Pro Panel. But Workspace Scheme, Layout Space, 3D Mounting Layout, it's a navigator with the devices. And now when we switch to default, this is the default ePlan Electric P8, OK. This is what we get, still the page navigator and the graphical preview. Now we opened our project. We want to start to do something on this project to create some 3D panel layout. Let's go back with the workspace to Pro Panel. OK. The first thing we should do is to create a new layout space. We'll call it just for this video number one. And this is what you get, an empty 3D layout space. Now, just for this exercise, let's already insert an enclosure. So in this project regarding parts, I'm using Siemens Phoenix Contact and the parts available in the default database in this one ESS and I also transfer parts from this ESS to our educational number 100 so to be able to work and to successfully follow this course, you won't be needing data portal, but if you have data portal, that's just great news for you. For those who don't have, these are the options. So Siemens parts, small industry, Siemens.com. You input the device you want to find. In this case, as an example, this switch, you will click on it, go to image gallery and data for MCAD and ECAD, click on the second icon, so it shows ePlan, then you will download this file, it's an EVZ file, download and import to your ePlan parts database as an EDZ import. So everything really regarding Siemens parts, you can also find those on this website. Now regarding Phoenix contact parts, so in our project we have a lot of terminals from Phoenix contact. In that case, you would enter just an example. Let's go to utilities, parts, management,
just as an example that I show you how this works. The first one, then it would hit enter and a lot of as many inputs you need to generate ePlan file. This is what you would get. Save. And this is your XML file. So you import this part data to your parts database. The images, you would copy them to your corresponding images folder in your ePlan directory and the back row. So our 3D macro also. Let's go back to ePlan. Now we could, as I said, insert an enclosure. Let's use this one just as an example. And let's Place it in the coordinates zero space zero space zero and hit enter. I'll show you in the next video how this works. Now, just as an example, so also the switching between electric p8 and pro panel so let's see those functions as an example the connection symbols are currently not active since we are currently working in the layout space on the other hand the pro panel functions are active and you can use them now let's go to our schematics to the circuit diagrams now you see the connection symbols once again active and the pro panel functions are not so this is how you switch now go back to layout space double click and we are once again with our functions active and so on we can start to work in the pro panel also here insert and everything in the schematics when we go to insert totally different story now in the next video we're gonna see how we insert an enclosure rotate change handle and so on some Special things about it.